everybody. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial about uh, arranging things in a document. So say for instance, uh, this is going to kind of go a little bit into layers uh, and how to use, not necessarily layers, but just how to make sure that things are on top of things um, or things are not blocking other items uh, when you lay them down. So for instance, let me go ahead and just get some things in the document. So command D, placing some, let's put some cats in. Yeah. I'm going to go for a cat up here and a cat down here. All right. So I'm not making anything fancy. I'm just going to show the tool. And I have these two cats. And now I'm like, oh man, I wanted to make a background for the cats. So I want like maybe a yellow piece of paper or some kind of green piece of paper um, to kind of make the whole paper a certain color. So I'm gonna actually go to my rectangle tool, um, which is considered a shape, right? And I'm gonna just start from all the way out here and then drag. And I'm gonna make sure it gets to my bleed corners here. Uh, so, wow, um, that's a great rectangle, but where did my cats go? I can't see them anymore. I'm freaking out. I'm panicking. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually now that I know that I have my rectangle, which is that color that's supposed to be the background, I'm going to actually push it back. It's a background. It needs to go back. So I'm going to choose my uh, selection tool. I'm going to right click on my object, which is the rectangle, and I'm going to go ahead and click arrange. So there's two different settings that I have here, um, which is send backward and then send to back. So if I use send to back, look at this. Boom, it sends all the way to the very back. Um, so if these were layered, it would be on the bottom layer. Um, let me see if I can show you that actually. I'm going to go to my layers panel. I'm going to open up my layers here. And that's going to be this little arrow here and notice that my rectangle is on the bottom then I have a couple of cats on top okay that's the way life should be uh, I'm gonna actually go back and command Z so I can get back to my panic mode and notice here that the rectangle is on top and then the orange cat is below and then there's a gray cat that's also below that so let me go ahead and use the opposite thing right so I'm gonna right click and then I'm going to arrange and just send backward, just one. See how it gets taken down a peg? My orange cat now is above my rectangle, if you look at my layers panel. Um, and it's still, like, gray cat is still below uh, everybody else. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing, arrange. And notice I have different things I can bring to front that's going to put me right back in the same situation I was. I'm going to actually go ahead and send it uh, backward again. And then now my gray cat is on top. So that's something to think about um, when you're creating a background for your layers. Now, what I like to do is I like to lock it up so I can't manipulate that background anymore. So say, for instance, uh, this rectangle, I don't want it to accidentally select it and move it about. I'm going to go ahead and in my layers panel, lock it. So that means even if I grab any of these side areas, um, in attempting to grab my photos, um, this background layer is going to stay that background, not editable at all until I go on and I unlock my layer, then I can pull it and drag it any old way I please. So I'm going to lock that up real quick. Um, and let's just talk a little bit about, uh, the layers panel, just a tiny bit. And actually I'm going to unlock it. Um, notice here it, if you have your file names, right? You don't have to worry about wondering which one's called orange cat, which one's the gray cat. Um, you can actually just drag and drop and then manipulate things in the same way. Um, if you get really lost in your document, for instance, uh, you can actually turn off layers by clicking these little eyeballs. And then you're like, oh man, I, I forgot. What, did, what is this thing called? I can go ahead and just singularly have just the gray cat showing. Now, um, 
I see here that there's a little bit of difference here. Maybe I want to rename my orange cat. I'm going to click on that again. So I'm clicking twice uh, on the name of the item. And then actually I want to keep this a little bit together. Maybe that's just me being crazy, but um, I'm going to put that underscore in there. But you can, of course, relabel the whole thing if you'd like. Um, you can relabel your rectangle and call it background or green uh, BG if you like. Um, you can do that if you'd like. So that's a little tip on top. And another thing I can do is manage which images are on top of the other. So it goes in the order in which the images come into the program or you create the assets. So that's why Gray Cat originally was on the bottom and then Orange Cat was next and he was a little bit higher than that. And then the green background was right on top, right? But now I've changed the order. So Orange Cat is actually above Gray Cat. So when I drag Orange Cat kind of in the gray cat zone, if you will, like in the vicinity of my gray cat. Um, wow, he's right on top. That's great. Um, maybe I need to change the order of this. I can actually do the same right click selection, arrange, and then send my um, orange cat. I'm going to send him just backward, just once. And you can see that they've switched places. So that's using layers a little bit for arranging um, or if you wanted to uh, you can of course do that right click on your picture and arrange it by sending it backwards or forwards in certain instances um, it's just up to you how you want to use the devices and uh, all the tools and stuff like that but i'm gonna go ahead and lock up my green background layer so i don't mess with him and i think that that's a wrap uh, thanks so much for hanging out with the tutorial.